Hello and welcome to Thamesmead TV. On the opening day of the 09-10 season, Thamesmead had an interesting opening day fixture against newcomers Lowestoft Town. Keith McMahon had high hopes for the match after good pre-season preparations. From kick-off, Thamesmead dominated possession until the 28th minute when Lowestoft, with their very first attack of the game, opened the scoring as Gary McGee headed over Steve Northwood in the Thamesmead goal. Just two minutes later, Andy Constable struck home for Thamesmead, but was in an offside position. Immediately, Lowestoft attacked and gained a free kick on the edge of the Mead area, which Adam Smith expertly struck home to double the visitors' lead. Both defences were tested in the second half with very little opportunities on goal, and the visitors ran out at full time with a historic 2-0 victory. We caught up with Thamesmead manager Keith McMahon for his thoughts on the game. Must be very disappointing. Yeah, huge to be honest with you, Kev. Um, Pre-season gone excellent for us. Um, I know pre-season games don't, don't count. It's the ones that for the points that do. Um, you know, we're missing a few big players today. Not an excuse. We just, you know, we 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 seem to lack a little bit of self-belief in the last third. You know, I didn't think they were better than us. I thought we had the majority of the ball. To be fair, uh, cut the poor goals for us to concede. But um, for them, I'd say two quality, you know, great delivery for the first goal and, and a great free kick for the second one. But, um, you know, I just thought we, we didn't really trouble them going forward too much. We put everything around the big centre-half. Centre um, but possession-wise, we had a lot of it, but we just, just seemed to lack that little bit of a killer instinct. And, uh, uh, and that's a bit, bit disappointing today, especially after the hard work we've done this week. And, and over the six weeks, you know, we gelled really well. And uh, I thought we could have got something out of the game. And still, too, not, I, I still thought our time we could get something out of this. We just needed someone to grab the game and say, yeah, come on, we'll have this. But we didn't, and uh, we, we have to bounce back. Talking about the last third and the lack of attacks and the lack of penetration into their area, yeah. does that mean that you'll still be looking for another forward to play up front? Yep. 100%. Um, obviously, Caleb's out injured. To be fair, the two twins, the youngsters, I, I gave them a you know, I could have gone after a forward this week, um, but finance is, is a massive thing, you know, and when you start looking at can we forward it, the answer is no, so, and they cost money, but um, the two twins have done well in, and, and even today I didn't think they were poor, you know, they're young kids, um, but week in, week out, we need, you know, I need people to put the ball in the back of the net and, and cause teams problems, so if I've got any ambition, and, and as a manager and, and as a club, then I need to go and find a forward, and I would. Talking about um, the possession that we had today, yeah and uh, the way that we were able to keep the ball. Yeah. Um, despite losing 2-0, does, does the possession and does the way that we play today give you hope for the rest of the season? I don't know, ask any manager, we'll go either keep the ball or win, or smash it. You know, I've got my own beliefs about how, how I think we should play football. We've gone pattern of play all through the summer, we've kept the same way. You know, I normally change shape and have a look, we haven't. We've, we've stuck to our guns and played some great football. Today, to be fair, I didn't think we played the best passing football that we've done. In stage, we knocked it around, but we didn't have that. We had to pass it around at the back and get it to be filled, but in the last third, we need to open people up, and we didn't have that. Um, with the quality of players I've got and the, and the, the, the way we play, um, yeah, that's, you know, that always gives me optimism. To be fair, I my hands up. I took a gamble and played two players in the middle of the park that I didn't think were 100% fit. Stevie Kent, to be fair to him, has just come over swine flu. Pedro's not even had a pre season. Um, I threw him in because I thought they were the players that the way we play, they keep the ball and can pass. Um, for the first 35 minutes, Stevie Camp was excellent, and then he's just, his legs ran out, and I had to make a sub in the first half. Um, disappointed he was. And same with Pedro, he'd done me an hour, and, and he had gone, and then, we, you know, because we, we were missing the two lads in the middle of the park. Um, but the squad I've got here, they're a great bunch of lads, they're, they're very talented, and I think we're, you know, not be alright, because that's not what I want. Um, you know, optimism, yes, but we do need to sort of also take the game by the scruff of the neck, and, and we want to show the passion and desire as well. Always difficult after a game when you lose and you sit there and think, damn, but you know, you've got to try some positives and we've got a game Tuesday night, we've only got two days and I, I believe that we'll hopefully take some uh, aggression out on Romford on Tuesday. That's right, and uh, that is our next game and uh, how will you be approaching that one? Win. We've got to go and win, like we did today, but we, we just was a bit flat, but today, you know, last off I thought were a decent side, I expected them, you know, they, they've got great support as you heard, and uh, you know, they're very well organised. They don't win the Vars in the semi-final of the Vars in the last two years for nothing. But I didn't think they were as good, I didn't think they were better than us, you know. Uh, pound to pound, but that's what football's about. But Romford, 
we've got to just bounce back and, and, and we're going to go go for the win, you know. And then if we pick three points up and we've got three points out of two in the first week, then we, we need a platform to start. If you know, once you know, we, we've been doing well in pre-season, winning games, and you keep winning. You, if you start losing the first few games and you're struggling, and then the confidence will go low. But the lads have got in here, we'll bounce back, and I know we will, and we're, we're looking for three points. Well, that's all from Thamesme TV for this time. We'll be back in September with more action and interviews from Thamesmead. Until then, take care.